Then, could you sketch briefly what the data vault is all about? Absolutely. The data vault is about bringing the model or the form back to the function, and the function is the business process. For a long time, data warehousing and, well, business has separated form and function, which has caused uh, IT to lose agility and cause the models to lose adaptability. I'm sure you've heard about uh, logical data models being separated from physical data models and that they're quote unquote always different. When I went to work on this, the company I was working for in the 90s was going through what we used to call business process re-engineering, which got a bad name and then became business activity management, business process management and all that other stuff. Um, and they were also going through cycle time reduction and um, something known as SEI, Service, uh, excuse me, Software Engineering Institute from Carnegie Mellon, CMMI Level mm -hmm. 5. So all of those things combined, um, I realized that what we were truly building in a data warehouse is really a software, really akin to software production. And having some background and experience in QA, at a compiler company, I was familiar with the software process of build, alpha, beta, gamma releases. Release cycles, monitoring, measuring, metrics, and all of that. So the data vault, it really takes two sides. It, there's a data vault methodology, which uh, allows us to treat IT as a business and monitor and, and optimize the processes of building warehouses in a repeatable, consistent fashion, and scalable fashion. And then there's the model side, which allows IT to be agile, responding to business needs, so that business uh, no longer has to feel the need to go create their own uh, access databases. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what happens is, in a data warehouse situation, uh, people will build this thing called a data warehouse and they'll replicate the stars and replicate the dimensions and they'll move things around and they'll, they'll add things to conform dimensions until you can't conform them anymore and then they'll copy the star and pretty soon business looks at all of this and says I can't handle the maintenance cost, I can't handle the management cost, we have too many disparate answers. All of these things are what we call generation one warehousing. Uh, well, when I looked at this, when I was building the data vault, I saw a lot of these limitations come up in the late 90s and I really wanted to bring data warehousing back to the business cycles. And so one of the fundamental things was how do we produce a data warehouse that's accountable, compliant and auditable uh, at the same time allows IT to be flexible and agile and respond to business needs on demand. Because we were using function point analysis and estimation techniques at the time, and we had we were measured based on our success. And, and a lot of times people say, well, what's the ROI of a data warehouse and a team? And, and how do you measure success of a data warehouse project? Well, you have function point analysis, and you have to have a baseline to measure against. Mm -hmm. So the data vault starts with what we call the business key. And the business key is absolutely primary to both the data as an asset to the business process and the business process itself. Because without the business key, the business cannot have a visibility into the data set at all. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you lose a customer account number, you don't know that you even have that customer anymore. Um, unless you find that account number printed somewhere in hard copy and you type it back into the system and then you try to pull the records up. Well, then the system can't find the records if the account number is lost on the customer. So data is an asset that depreciates over time, but it's all keyed by the business key. So I wanted to bring the model side as close to the business process as possible and tie them together. This way, when the business changes, the model changes. And the only way to do that was to tie them through business key. Um, the second fundamental concept as far as Data Vault is concerned from a business perspective is the ability to perform gap analysis. The business believes that they are operating this way when the source systems are collecting data 
in a different fashion, saying that the business truly is operating differently. And that's a gap analysis between the business and the operations side. And so a lot of times what happens is as in the data warehousing industry, people have always said put the business rules between the source systems and the warehouse and clean all your data up. Well, there is value in clean data. Don't get me wrong on that. And there's certainly value in star schemas. Don't get me wrong on that either. Um, but by putting the business rules between the warehouse and the source systems, IT becomes inflexible and non-agile non-responsive to business needs the bigger the warehouse grows. Also, uh, the problem is that the data set changes on the way into the warehouse and so we lose auditability and compliance. Auditability and compliance basically has three fundamental paradigms when it comes to data and that is you have to record the data set as it was in the source system, um, the date and time that it changed plus all the rules and you have to back up all the rules that change that data and then you have to uh, record all the data set after the change so you have to show the whole progression chain people don't back up the business rules in the ETL layers on the way into the warehouse they just change them and so what does that do to the history and the context of the history of the data that's been altered in the past you've now lost your traceability back to the source mm -hmm. and this is why audits fail yeah. I wanted to bring all of that together, close the gap. I wanted to, so what we did was we moved the business rules. We operate off of business key. The business rules are now downstream of the warehouse. Um, we load raw data into the warehouse because the warehouse is becoming a system of record whether we like it or not. And, um, and really, I wanted to be agile in producing answer sets for the business. We got to a point in an organization where if they, we, we handed the business user a two-page requirements document that said, fill this in, this is what we have in the warehouse for you. And from the time they gave it back to us to the time we produced the mark was roughly about an hour. Well, when that's the turnaround time, and that was in 1995, mm -hmm. when that's the turnaround time, the business user says, I no longer need to build an access database. I don't need to go off and separate myself from IT because an hour, what's an hour cost, right? Nothing. So um, we had more work than we could handle after that. And that's what we want to get IT back to is delivery, not just on time, but faster than ever before. We want to treat IT as a business and we want to monitor, measure, and optimize all of the IT processes. And that's the methodology side yeah. of the data vault. And then we want to enable all of that to occur. And the only way to do that is through the, the right architecture in the data warehouse. So you really wanted to develop a generic architecture for data warehousing and not a new wave in data warehousing. It may be used in any situation as in, in a data warehousing context. Mm -hmm. I have customers that are experimenting beyond that right now, but I don't know what the results are in terms of using the data vault architecture because they like the flexibility and they like the monitoring and the metrics and some of them are using it in a real-time operational context and the jury's still out in terms of whether or not yeah. that's the right way to go. I designed it, <laughs> excuse me, to be a data warehouse and that's what it's for. The data vault should not be used as a data mart. It should not be used as a, a, a distribution layer to the end no. users. It is raw data. It is integrated by business key. It is flexible, it is a design uh, for all your history, and it should be used as a launching point for all of the business rules downstream that you need. You still need star schemas to release to business users, you still need OLAP cubes, you still need all the other technology mm -hmm. that's there. The data vault is designed to be a data warehouse.